So Donald Trump was asked the most basic question ever. It, you know, it needed just a one word answer and that would have been sufficient. But since he's Donald Trump and he is incapable of acting like a grown up for more than uh, a few minutes, this is the answer that he gave to the question, did you test positive for COVID-19? And I tested very positively in a in another sense. So negative. this morning, yeah, I tested positively toward negative, right? So no, I tested uh, perfectly this morning. Meaning, meaning I tested negative. But that's the way of saying it. Positively toward the. Why can't you just answer the question? Why? I mean, this is exhausting. I'm going to read you back that quote. I tested very positively in another sense. So this morning, yeah, I tested positively toward negative, right? So no, I tested perfectly this morning, meaning I tested negative. But that's a way of saying it positively toward <laughs> negative. This is going to make my head explode. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it. And part of me um, at first when I saw this thought, you know, maybe he's just being stupid and he doesn't know that in the sense of like getting a test that positive is actually bad, even though positive generally has, you know, positive connotations and not to sound redundant. But like when you look at his face after I watch this back, you can tell that he's trying to be like funny. He's trying to make it seem like he's he's charming and personable. But why? This is not like why would you choose this? to appeal to people and maybe i'm wrong maybe he's just genuinely being stupid and having a brain fart i don't know why but this is incredibly insufferable like i can't deal with him he's so insufferable and irritating that he why can't you just answer a question for once in a straightforward way where you you give a direct answer why can't you be serious when it comes to an issue like this i mean he is the one who is talking about how he's supposedly taking hydroxychloroquine. So don't you want to give us a straight answer so we know whether or not it's helping you specifically because that would prove the point that you've been trying to make for some reason uh, for months? Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, so either he's being stupid or he's trying to be witty and charming, but it just shows you how immature he is, right? He, d he can't be serious about anything, even when it comes to very serious issues. And this isn't like the biggest story ever, but... I mean, the quote itself, like, I have to go through it again because it, it, it can never, like, cease to amaze me that the person who said this is president. I tested very positively in another sense. So this morning, yeah, I tested positively toward negative, right? So no, I tested perfectly this morning, meaning I tested negative. But that's a way of saying it positively toward the negative. No, it's not. And I don't know why, but for some reason, this reminded me of the movie The Dictator, which I watched again recently, where um, I forgot specifically what it was. So Sasha Baron Cohen, his character was a dictator. I don't remember the name of the fictional country, but he was like kind of like this type of um, egotistical, megalomaniacal person in a way like Donald Trump. And he changed the words positive and negative to Aladdin, his name, to both name uh, Aladdin. So at the beginning of the movie, I think there was this scene where the doctor's like, well, I have your test results. You are HIV Aladdin. Now, since Aladdin means positive and negative, technically, the guy didn't really know. So he started out by like smiling, like, and then <laughs> all of a sudden you see the dread in his face, like, wait, that doesn't mean I'm out of the water. I don't know why this clip made me think of that, but <laughs> we're we're kind of like with the way that the American political landscape uh, is going lately. It seems like fictional movies represent American political discourse more than history itself. Like I'm reminded of Idiocracy when Trump talks about injecting disinfectants. It reminds me of the scene, and I've talked about this before, from Idiocracy, where the president did not know why all of the crops across the country were dying. And um, turns out they were watering it with Gatorade because I think they got a deal or something with Gatorade. Um, and so that's kind of like what I'm reminded of when I hear Donald Trump talk about literally possibly injecting disinfectants as a cure or preventative measure to take against COVID-19. And so like, 
movies, I, I think, more accurately depict American life now when it comes to politics because it's that stupid. Like, what was the joke before um, is now a reality because of Donald Trump. And not just Donald Trump, like, Republicans in general, Democrats, like, they're all cartoonishly evil and clown-like. So, I mean, it's just... I want to talk about these things because I feel like one day we're all going to look back at this once we've come to our senses, hopefully, if we don't kill ourselves by then due to climate change or nuclear disaster, something. I want to be able to look back at this and say, man, what a weird time. Like, I want this time to be something that is a relic of the past that we tell our grandchildren about and they won't believe us. It's is that crazy. But part of me is cynical and believes that things aren't going to change. This is just kind of the new normal in America where we have very stupid people in charge and you know there's really there's no value in objective facts and objective reality anymore like each person uh each team rather has their own narrative and the media just kind of shares both narratives and completely disregards objective reality I mean they already kind of do that they were doing this with climate change right they were up until recently presenting both sides of the argument you know they'd have Bill Nye debate Marsha Blackburn when it comes to the issue of climate change, which, you know, one is a scientist, one is an idiot, and, you know, present that as, you know, some type of good-spirited debate when in actuality, objective reality has no um, bias, right? It just is what it is. It's objective. It's true, regardless of your political affiliation or, you know, political predisposition. But, I mean, I, I'm kind of going off on a tangent. This clip is the perfect representation of America in 2020. It just is. Like, I don't know what else better represents America. This and Biden's uh, You Know the Thing speech, like, if you put these two clips together, nothing represents 2020 America more than that. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.